Hi everybody, Jared Burdick here. I'm very happy to be with you today to talk about my Roscoe Guitars SKB 3006 bass. Uh, this really is uh, just a magnificent instrument. Uh, in my opinion, it's a quintessential Roscoe. If, uh, you know, to borrow the phrase, if you were to look up Roscoe in the dictionary, you would find a picture of this bass uh, next to the very lengthy definition of the company. It's just, um, I think, a very beautiful instrument. Uh, that uh, has just terrific playability and really, really magnificent sound. Um, let me tell you a little bit about uh, the bass. We'll start off talking about uh, the woods. This is an ash body bass. Let me show that to you. Uh, the ash body, and it's Roscoe's standard neck, which is uh, maple, purple hearts, and maple. Uh, we get to the beautiful stuff up front here. It's got a myrtle top. Uh, it's a burl myrtle top and a spalted Purple Heart fingerboard, which is also kind of a, a, a Roscoe a trademark, if you will. They, they do that like nobody else. And uh, another thing that they do, um, their eye for the aesthetic, they just match fingerboards and tops beautifully. You can see the, the, the from you know, just the looking at the instrument, the fingerboard perfectly complements the top and vice versa. Um, we'll talk a little bit about hardware. Uh, Roscoe uses hip shot hardware. Uh, they've got their their custom take on the A bridge, and it uh, they've got the, got a radius, so uh, you know the action on the instrument is just uh, ridiculously low if you want it to be, which I tend to. Um, the spring, string spacing on the instrument is 18.3 millimeters at the bridge, and it's a 35 inch scale bass. Uh, you know, very common formula for modern uh, extended range basses. Uh, playability is just magnificent. The neck profile is is thin, but not too thin. Um, it really, you know, the bass just kind of plays itself, which is sort of a, a stereotype uh, those of us with uh, familiarity with the brand often say, but, but it really does. The instrument, uh, as many, many, many Roscos do, they just encourage you to play music. You're not worrying about uh, getting a sound. You're not worrying about, you know, struggling with playing through the neck or anything else. You just pick up the bass and you start making some music. And that, uh, you know, that's, I think, the highest compliment I can offer to the fellows at Roscoe. Um, a little quick uh, bragging point, I, I call the bass uh, Fertile Myrtle, uh, it's the first Myrtle bass I had ever seen, and one of the things I really love about the look is uh, from, from 10 feet away or so or further back, you just kind of see a, a pretty looking instrument, it, it's not gaudy or anything like that, and then as you move closer and closer, you really see just how refined and how wonderful it is, just all the figuring in the wooden top, Roscoe's magnificent gloss finish that is uh, just as durable as it is good looking, and then all the little subtleties of the fingerboard. It's just a, a, just a magnificent instrument aesthetically. And also, if you are Wang, I should say you purchase your Roscoe Guitars t-shirt from, from Guard at Roscoe. There's a little plug for you, buddy. Um, you will see this bass, uh, the image of this bass, the headstock, on the t-shirt design, which was masterfully done by Stephen Mitchell out of San Diego. And Steve also does... Uh, uh, the design for Roscoe's website. So when you look at all that attractive stuff out there that from a marketing standpoint is just as attractive as the instruments they make, you can certainly give a nod to, uh, to Steve for all that magnificent design work. So uh, let me talk briefly about the electronics. This space uses uh, Roscoe's flavor, uh, their own flavor of Bartolini soap bars. And it's in, you know, you can kind of see Roscoe has their own placement as well, which, which defines the, the much of the tone. Um, it's got also got a Bartolini NTMB preamp uh, the control layout is volume, blend, and then we've got a mid-range control which has two frequency points. In the down position it's 800 hertz, and then if you pull up it uh, goes to 250 hertz. And then finally there's a stacked bass and, uh, and treble uh, control for you here. Also on the back panel uh, there's, a, there's a cutout, there's a, a trim control, so if you want to boost or cut the gain of the preamp itself you can certainly do so, which is a nice feature. And uh, one other nice feature I want to touch on really quickly that I've always admired about Roscoe's is how easy it is to adjust the truss rod. It's very subtle. Uh, I love how they kind of carve that into the body right at the neck joint. And uh, you use uh, their 964th wrench, and in seconds you've made the tweak that you want to make. So it, it just kind of reinforces the point that it's really a musician's instrument, uh, easily tuned, easily set up, easily configured. And again, it just it, it kind of plays itself. It really just magnificently encourages you 
uh, to go out and, and make some music with the instrument. So I'll run through uh, very quickly here a little bit of the variety of the tones that this offers. You heard that little E minor riff that I did um, with everything flat and centered, and I'll play that again really quickly just for a reference point. enamored with of late is uh, is biasing the bridge pickup kind of similar to what a lot of the, the New York guys are famous for and uh, so what I will do here is uh, turn that a little bit maybe halfway not the whole way uh, between centered and uh, favoring the bridge pickup and then what I'll also do is uh, boost the 250 Hertz mids just to bring back in some of that bottom that uh, we lose naturally when we go to that pickup so here's here's the tone uh, with that in play really nasty and nice snarl that you know is just gonna cut right through the mix I, I really really love that tone I'll bring everything back here and we'll go uh, we'll go now in the other direction uh, one of the things that you may notice with the pickup placement the neck pickup is is very close I haven't measured it but it's very close uh, to my eye uh, to what Fender does with their P bass pickup so accordingly if you were to crank the blend control over to the neck pickup, you're going to sound uh, very similar to a P bass. And here's that same riff in that flavor. There we have it. This is, uh, again, just in summary, just a magnificent instrument. Um, it's, it's been on hundreds of gigs. Uh, I've used this. Uh, in a lot of jazz gigs where it really is just, just right in the wheelhouse for the sonic qualities of those gigs. And, uh, but it also is, is versatile enough. I've used it in R&B, rock gigs, even country gigs. Just uh, a wonderful bass, uh, quintessential Roscoe, and I certainly could not be more happy with the instrument. So thanks to everyone at Roscoe Guitars for crafting such a fine bass. Thanks very much, folks. Mm -hmm.